guys, it's Josh here from Dimp Digital, uh, showing you how to do uh, some relic iron farming in Destiny. Um, as I'm sure many of you know, Destiny's big on my uh, current list of played games. So I thought I'd do a quick guide as to how to get some of those pesky materials that you need to level up to the higher levels. Uh, as you can see, I'm currently using my level 30 Hunter, um, filled up with either exotic or legendary gear. Um, now the only way to obviously get that high is to make sure that you have enough materials to make sure your weapons and bits and pieces are fully upgraded. So uh, I've got obviously 70 relic iron in there, the helium, filaments, spirit bloom and spin metal. They're the four um, basic materials plus your ascendant materials which are ascendant shards, ascendant energies and the commendations. So first of all we're going to do relic iron though, we're heading off to Mars. Um, you spawn in here in the barrens. Get to it. What you want to do is get your sparrow out and head straight for a place called the Scablands. Um, so obviously we're just going to mish across the map here. Make sure you hit that thing there. It's very important, not at all, because I'm terrible with the sparrow. Um, yeah, so you're going to make a move in this direction. Now, obviously everyone does this a bit differently. Um, the way that I do it is to hit the maximum number of chests in the shortest uh, space of travelling. Um, so... This is another rock there that you've got to make sure you hit. Definitely don't miss that, whatever you do. Um, so like I say, this is just the way that I do it. Um, the things that you should know is very important to try and make sure the only person doing it is you. If you're following someone, they can take all your chests and uh, leave you with nothing. So here we are in the Scablands. Um, obviously it comes up in the bottom left hand side of your screen. It's where these five tall turrets are that are part of what I can only presume to be the, uh, the kind of wall of defense on the moon for the Cabal. I have a quick look around here because there is quite often um, little bits of relic iron that spawn in and around that area. So what you're going to want to do is make a move in this direction. Um, there are 12 caverns that we're going to be looking at in total. I only really look in caverns because I think it's probably the best way of doing things. Um, and this is where we're going to start the run. So as you can see we're kind of at the bottom of the, uh, the first tower in this trench. And what we're going to do is we're going to be running along the trench going into all six of the caverns there. And then we're going to move on to... Um, the base of the wall to go into the four caverns along there and then two extra caverns that are around and about as well. So you're just literally starting off running through the trench from that end to the far end. So as you can see I jump up and over here. So I'm just running parallel to the wall in the caverns here. I believe I actually missed one of the caverns here because um, yeah so just stroll past that one wasn't worried into the next one. So this is number four. Not an overly successful run when I first started, if I'm completely honest with you. But, um, you know, it, it kind of got there in the end, I suppose. So we're going to go back up there over the next of these domes. Um, as you can see, still running alongside the, the main wall down here and into this one of the little uh, caves. Nothing in there. Heading back up. And into the last one of the ones on the trenches. So that is six along the bottom with um, of the trenches. Uh, nothing in that one either. So not the best of starts. Uh, as you can see, there are two other people in this lobby with me. Um, you can't prevent randoms from coming in. There's nothing you can do about that, unfortunately. Which means that, like I said, if you've got more than one of you who's doing this run, it's very easy to tail someone and then they will take all the chests and nothing will spawn for you. So we're heading into the uh, base of the wall here. Uh, I pick up my first loot chest. So literally from the cavern, which is straight in front of you there, you're coming straight over the top of it to go to the base of the wall. And then all you're going to do is something very similar, just running back in the opposite direction along the base of the wall. Uh, there's four caverns at the bottom of the wall, um, which are all at the kind of the foothills of the big towers. Um, when you go into them, just make sure that you have a thorough look around and they're not they're missing anything silly, because um, it's quite easy for them to be tucked in corners and for you not to be able to spot them straight away. So we go into the next one here, another chest, that's beautiful, pick that up, hit the wall a little bit on the way out. And what we're going to do, there is another cave just up the top there, I think you can just about see the entrance of it. Um, there's an option as to which route you want to do these in, sometimes I do the one at the bottom of the hill first. There's sometimes a chest up there, just wired a quick look. So then in here, just have a little look, nothing there. You want to drop off the edge and go down over to the right hand side. Just have a little look around, make sure there's nothing obvious hanging about. Into this one, there is another chest, which is beautiful. We go back up the slope under the bridge. And then to the left hand side here, there is another cave, just at the foothill of the last of the towers. 
back up to the top and you can see this is where we've just started which is conveniently marked by this little piece of relic iron if you're looking for it out in the open this is exactly what it looks like so you will spot them around and about obviously worth picking up if you're farming the materials solely so then we're back at the start um, what I'm going to do now is just run it in fast forward for a little while so you can obviously see the exact route so here we go uh, as you can see I'm starting at the first cave here just have a little run down there going to the second one uh, I'm once again just following those trenches along um, just working through each one of them generally don't bother to stop and kill things because it does take up time um, do have occasional pop though just to keep myself entertained come out of there and as I said we'll move to the bottom of the hill uh, sorry the bottom of the tower which I'm then just going to run along the wall uh, picking up all the chests as we go. Um, this is obviously not a foolproof way of doing things and I appreciate, like I say, that everyone has their own little uh, route that they choose to take. This is the one that I've found to be the most successful. Um, there are other bits of relic iron that spawn around and about in the area, but uh, this is the way that, like I say, I like to do it. I think it's the most effective. So then we're back down in the first cave and we're just going to follow that route and keep going. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, in that time, I think I did it for about 20 minutes and I picked up uh, somewhere in the region of about 35 relic iron. So um, it might not be sort of the quickest return, but I certainly think it's probably up there as one of the best. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and uh, hopefully we'll see you again soon.